Okay, Cam Guy, here's the question then. What are all of the addresses or the sets of quantum numbers, the four sets of quantum numbers for every electron in lithium? Okay, I can answer that. Lithium. How many electrons does lithium have? It has three electrons because it's element number three on the periodic table. So it's got three protons in the nucleus and three electrons outside. Where are those electrons? In orbitals. And what are those addresses or the sets of quantum numbers for those electrons? Okay, well, here's the first electron. We're going to say it's at n equals, well, we always start with the ground state. We're saying that this, by the way, we're saying that this atom is in its lowest energy, coolest state, its ground state. So where are the electrons found? Because you can put electrons, you can excite an atom and put them all over the place, these electrons, at different energy levels. But in the ground state, we start with n equals 1. So the first electron for lithium is going to be at n equals 1. And L equals, what can L equal when N equals 1? It can only equal 0. And so what does that magnetic quantum number get to be? Well, it goes from the negative of L to the positive of L. And since L equals 0, it can only be one thing. It has to be 0. Because there's no negative value for 0 or positive value. It's just 0. What is the spin number? Well, I like to start with plus 1 half. And so, there we go. We're going to say that the first electron for lithium is at n equals 0, l equals 0, n equals 1, l equals 0, ml equals 0, and the spin number is plus 1 half. So where's the second electron? Okay, so if we do the second electron, it's going to be at n equals. Now, you're going to say, well, well could it be at n equals 2? Well, you know what? We haven't fully described everything that could happen at n equals 1 yet. Because you know that the spin number can be negative one half here. So therefore, n equals one, l equals zero. This magnetic number is still zero, but the spin number equals negative one half. There you go. At n equals one in that first orbital, and by the way, that zero there is also the s orbital. So in the 1s orbital, there are, and we're going to say it's a spherical shaped orbital, because it is. In that spherical shaped orbital, you can have two electrons. You can have the plus one half spin and the negative one half spin electron. Where are they and what are they doing? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> but they're in that orbital, and the nucleus is in there somewhere too. Obviously, then, the, the majority of space of an atom, since the nucleus is very, very small, is an empty space, isn't it? Where the electrons can be. And they can be given these designations, 100 zero, zero plus one half and 100 zero, zero minus one half, but now where's that third electron? The third electron, we are now done with n equals one because we can't actually have sets of quantum numbers here that are going to be any different. So now the second electron for lithium must be at n equals two. Now, what's allowable to have at n equals two? At n equals 2, the L can equal 0 and 1. Now, it doesn't equal both here in this case. That electron's in one of those uh, orbitals. And so, at this energy level, the electron is in, we start with the 0. So that's the S orbital. Okay, and now, the ML, or that magnetic number, is going to be, well, what? Well, when L equals 0, the ML can only equal 0. So... The spin number can equal plus one half. <laughs> and now we have the three sets of quantum numbers here for the electrons found in lithium. And now let me do one that's a little bit more complicated, and then you'll be able to see how to consecutively put these electrons in. 